recording? Yep, yep you're good. All right, thank you, sir. Not a problem. All right, we're going to troll this little sucker. Set up my planer board. This is the one I made. Nice. Look at that sucker. I decided to throw a screw. All right. Hey, look at that thing works good, don't it? Good. Catch it. Cut it up. There we go. Look at that sucker. My planter board over there. Tracking pretty. We're going about 1.1 miles an hour. And I'm trolling a, a, a fluke on a behind a, a spinner jig. I think it's a probably a half, half ounce to an ounce spinner jig. Draw the sucker around for a while, see what happens. Can lean in my terms, turn faster. Oh, that works really good. This is still, you know, first time I've actually been able to go out in the kayak in the daytime. I figured out steering this thing turns a lot better if you lean into your turn. When you lean into your turn, lean into turning, it starts carving. It's pretty cool, actually. And like to offset the offset the planter board, I just have to kind of lean lean to the right a little bit. I wonder what happened if I pulled the pulled the rudder out and just leaned. And watch this carve. Watch this. Look at this turn.
Mine's automatic. Mine also automatically changes speed and everything. And that was something that my, see I've got a Garmin Striker 4 that you, you gotta set all that stuff. This one you ain't got to, watch this. Watch this thing turn. Just lean into it and it just cuts. And that's with that drag of that on there still. Ain't got no worries about tipping. Nice hook at 10 foot here. I'm trolling for bass. Nah, I'm just really just testing the planer board out and doing the first daytime test of this rig. So I'm just marking this lake for the first time.
Thank you. Can steer it without the rudder. Just lean. That explains a lot. That one night I was out on Lanier when I first started with it, kept wanting to fight me. I was leaning the wrong way. Hey Mario, Yo. I figured out I don't really even need a rudder. All I gotta do is lean, brother. Look at this. That's all I gotta do. Remember I told you about the more you lean, the more the more grabs. So your buoyancy increases. So it offsets you. And it also creates more drag. I just didn't think about that for steering. It was a happy accident. I marked a... Uh, you heard me tell about that while I go, didn't you? Right over there, I marked a, 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 like a tree coming up or a tree limb or something coming straight up, and there was three or four fish right around it. Just hanging right there suspended. So here we are. We're out here on Lake Elder um, in Winder, Georgia, Barrow County. And uh, it's a neat little, neat tiny little reservoir. Um, there's a house right there on the corner. Uh, it actually has the word elder on the mailbox and you can all you gotta do is walk up on their front porch and They got a jar right there beside a little frog fisherman <laughs> And you put a couple bucks in the jar and you launch your boat and you come out here and have a good time um, It's 15 minutes from the house. I can't beat it. Um, this is my first time out on it and uh, I'm just trolling around just Kind of getting the feel of my kayak, getting the feel, because this is the first time I've been out in the daytime since I did this build. And uh, just marking fish and looking what's here. There's still some areas here I haven't explored, but there's fellas over there that I don't, you know, I, 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 I know him, Mr. Mario over there, and those fellas over there are with him, so you know, I can get away with talking to them, but I'm trying to stay out of their way. I don't know them. They talked to me for a minute while ago, and that's good. But I don't, you know, like I said, be rude to get in their way. But I'd like to get over there and, and mark some of that so I can upload it. Water is uh, 49 degrees right now. Um, I'm at 10, 10 and a half feet deep. I think the deepest I've seen in this lake is 15. It's not a very deep lake. And uh, I'd like to see how deep it is over there. I got a feeling it's going to be deeper, but can't exactly get over there. There's a 
going about three feet deep up in there. You know what? I'm gonna bring it in. I'm gonna switch up to crappie jigs. There, that's why I ain't catching nothing. It slipped. It's interesting. So I need a better. Definitely gonna need a better whip. I've got one sitting in here somewhere. explain why I didn't catch anything. You can you may laugh now. <laughs> oh, I see what happened. It's fine, I ended up hitting a snag. The snag made it release and slide up the thing. One of those storm panfish looks like a crappie, and I stuck him in with some with some red crappie jigs. So he's got little blood spots on him. I think that might have somebody's interest. I tell you this, loading this kayak is going to be a bear to get back on my thing because my, my connecting rope at the front snapped. Oh, that's a, how heavy is that thing? Uh, probably, yeah. well, I've got a 65 pound battery on the back, it's a big issue. Oh I may just have to pull, the, I'll just have to lift the battery off and I can probably do it easy. Right. So, but the problem is, is I don't have a, 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 a rope in the front to grab and pull. What I may do is take my, I may take my, uh, my hook and tie it, hook it into my, my anchor. My, my my two anchor trolleys and just pull them both there you go. that might work but or hook a rope to the two of them i got plenty of rope so i'll figure out something right there i saw that i saw that let's see if we can make you hungry it's getting about that time tonight so about five o'clock, so there's fish here. About the time they start, when they fast, start running the bank, hoping to scare up a, a quick meal of brim or something.
hide in that tree. There we go. Trying to catch a bird fish. I'm at three feet. I'm gonna snag up in a minute. Let me turn. Uh. In the past. Yeah, I'm not either. They're 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 holding near. I mean, there's not a whole lot of structure here, and they're holding near it. You know. Check it out, the planter board's even holding up going two miles an hour. You know? That's part of the reason why I'm doing this. I'm trying to see if me towing this fast makes it slip the clip. Gotcha. Because I've got the proper clip. I had one, I thought I had one hanging right here, but I can't feel it. I must have took it off. This thing's got a sound system in it too. Thank you. Didn't bother to hook up the sound because I, you know, figured I'd be talking too much. But I still got to figure out my layout. Like I think I'm actually going to build a flat deck on this thing. You know, if I do that, I'll probably be able to stand up. Huh? Have you seen that video about them mountain pole holders on the front of the kayak and they go straight and back? They mount the pole holders on the front of the kayak and they have them turned where they stick straight up in the air. And then when they hit something hits it, it curves it towards them and they pull it out. And they can easily put it in and take it out from here. But it was it was pretty incredible. Oh look at that, it handled it, dude. I was going two miles an hour and that sucker just sat there and just like nothing. Huh? It just it, yeah, like I said, I must have hit a snag and didn't realize it before. Which that's uh the only other thing that I don't have tweaked correctly is when I was out with this other guy. He can see every time a fish came up to look at the bait. And I can't even see the bait. <laughs> but I'm not rolling anything that big either. Look at there. I, did, I even hit a snag in it hell. Look at that. <laughs> That's impressive. So you just got to set it right and it's good. Hey. I think I'm going to throw this little boy on my cast rig. I'm jerking him along a little bit. I took uh, one of those storm um, crappy colored little bitty ones. And then I, what I did is I've got some I've got some crappy jigs with red in them and I threw them in with them. So he's got blood spots all over him. Right. And I'm trying to see how that works. I'm gonna switch to him and just cast him now. Now, since I'm already out here, if I decide I'm going to stay out until you know, after dark, I've got to go tell them, right? Yeah. All right. It's a pleasure, definitely. Where at? Oh, right there in that little cove right there? Yep. All right. What is he? Bass? 
Let's go check. Well, I got a little, uh, I got a little storm crappie here. I got a little storm crappie here that I, I I got a little storm crappie here that I, I stored him in with some red crappie jigs. Right. So he looks like he got blood spots on him. Oh, yeah, no, I heard that part of it, yeah. Yeah, I shot it at the other guys too. Nice. So I'm hoping he'll do something. I use these guys on my umbrella rigs. You know, you figure, you know, you know they eat bluegill, you know they got to eat crappie too. Right. If you take your fish finder and, st and get close to that damn tree over there, uh -huh. the big, yeah. Watch, watch it as you're getting close because you're going to start seeing all the trees. The trees come under the water. Okay. But yeah, there's a bunch of stuff that's swimming in there. Okay. Well, let's give, that might be where they're hanging then. That's yeah, probably the best structure on the whole pond. No, yeah, that's one of the biggest spots. Yeah. How deep is it there? Oh, really? Yeah. I had not seen anything that deep anywhere. Yeah, that whole corner right there where that tree is laying in the water straight out here. Okay. Well, that's what I've been looking for. I figured it was shallow over there, so I kept steering clear of it. That's what we thought too, but yeah, no, it's, that's a good spot. <laughs> yeah, I had to build this whole back end. He wanted to keep me from flipping and two carry the 65 pound battery. <laughs> uh, I'll have it on video if I do.